Okay, so this is going to be a quick tip about regraining when you want to use the the original grain. So I call it, I don't know, adaptive regraining. And uh, let's say, let's say that we want to to remove the, this light right there. So since the grain is quite different in the dark areas, to the bright areas. So using the traditional regraining method, which is subtract and add back, it will not will not work. So what I mean by that is that uh, since okay, so here we have the plate. There is a denoise. We gotta subtract it. Yes in order to get the, the noise, yeah. And we are going to add the noise back again, add, but as you can see, we got, we got this pattern right there. Okay, so let's, let's take, I don't know, imagine the scenario where you have Many, many of these, these, I don't know, unwanted patterns. So, yeah. So I got the plate, the noise, the, the clean frame, a fridge frame with the mox, and I did, I did the track, and yeah. This is, this is the human body structure match box shader. And I use it for recovering that. Just an example, you know. Okay, so in order to get the adaptive regrain, what we will do is that uh, we are going to use the median filter Okay, and we are going to use a 2D transform and a color corrector. You will see why in a second. So, we are going to add it right now. Back, add it back right now. Uh, okay, it's quite hard. So, what we are going to do with this, this uh, 2D transform is if we would take a look at the the noise pattern, this is the before, this is the after. This is how how it it, it comes with the media filter. Okay, so it's kind of distorted in y x in y axis. Sorry, it's kind of. stretched okay so what we are going to do with this transform is we are going to try to bring, bring it back to the original shape I guess I don't know what's the how to call it so what we're going to do is first of First of all, I'm going to use a middle repeat and I'm going to scale, scale down this X axis, something like, something like that. And we are going to bring down the Y axis, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So since this is not that that strong, so we are going to bring the game up just like that. And 
And I'm going to bring this to 40. Seems to be better there. Okay, so now now let's compare what we have here and what we have with traditional method. So we still have this area. And we still have, we now have, sorry, this. Okay, so in this shot, so let me take a, to the transform and let's take a, the mask tracer. In this shot, since since this, since this this is the only problematic area, we make sorry we we can we can say ah yeah it's just that that right there that so we could do this. can do and we could move around and yeah there you have it but I don't know let's Let's think about a scenario where you have many, many of these lights and, I don't know, bright and dark areas. So you got a flat, what you want to, to get is a flat noise pattern, just that. But with the same size, with the same... the same size, the same color, the same speed. So, yeah. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm kind of doing it. So, uh, of course you can even increase the saturation a bit. And yeah. That was the quick tip. I know, I know that this is going to be useful because this is something that we face day to day and we gotta realize how to... I, I know that many people use the regrain and renoise matchbox, but there are some cases, there are some cases where you don't have the same noise pattern when you don't have, I don't know, let's say we want to get the noise profile from, I don't know, the latest red camera or the latest black magic camera. And you are still trying, trying and trying doing it and you couldn't get the noise profile. So, that's why I, I I use this this way, and that's what, and that's the reason why many people do the traditional the traditional renoise technique. Okay, so hopefully it works for you. Thank you. Bye.